Next is this. If A and B are matrices such that AB equal to BA, then show that for every positive integer n, small n, you know, A into B power n should be equal to B into A power n and AB power n equal to A power n, B power n. Okay. So, any, whenever any such thing is given, in, in theory exams, we use induction, right? So, we can use induction and I'll prove it here. But then in gate, they will not ask you the proof. They will just give you, give you it as a blank, I mean, this uh, multiple choice, right? So, here I am going to uh, do the proof using induction, mathematical induction, right? So, let's first prove this one. So, given fact is that a b equal to b a, which means a and b commute. And then we are supposed to prove that this one a into b power n should be equal to b power n into a this is what we are supposed to prove right so how does uh, how does induction start is we take very small value of n and we see that it holds true and then from there we go on uh, taking larger values of n and see that you know show that it is true for everything so now let's see what happens when n equal to 1 n equal to 1 or 2 you can take it and prove it right so for n equal to 1 we get a into b power 1 equal to b into a power 1, right? So, like this. Then it is nothing but a b equal to b a. So, already it is given that a and b are, uh, you know, a b equal to b a. Therefore, this equation is true for smaller values of n, which means for n equal to 1. Now, now we assume that it is true for uh, larger values of n, let's say k, right? Let us assume that it is true for n equal to k as well. So, it means, it means that we are assuming that a into b power k is equal to b power k into a. This is what we are assuming, right? And now, we will try to see if this is the case, if this is true, we shall try to see what happens for k plus 1, n equal to k plus 1, which means a into b power k plus 1. We shall see what happens for this, right? Now, here you can write this one as a into b power uh, a into b into b power k right so one and now we already know that okay here we can write it this way a into b power k into b see b power k plus 1 i am writing it as a into b power k into b power 1 so that it is going to be you know b power k plus 1 and now we know that a into b power k is equal to b power k into a so which means here b power k into a into b that is what we get right and now uh, we already know that you know uh, a into b is equal to b into a therefore in place of a into b i am substituting b into a right so which means in case of this b power k i am going to write b into a right then what do we get if i combine these two it is b power k plus 1 into a right so what did we get so from the equation a into b power k you know equal to b power k into a we got a into b power k plus 1 equal to b power k plus 1 into a which means if it is true for n equal to k we also got that it is true for n equal to k plus 1 therefore by mathematical induction we can say that it is true for all the values of n see how does mathematical induction work is we assume that it is true for 1 i mean we test that for smaller values of n we test it and for n equal to 1 we tested it and we got that it is true right and later we assume that it is true for n equal to k and from there we shall see uh, whether it is uh, true for n equal to k plus 1 or not how by using the valid result for n equal to k we shall use this result in the proof that you know n equal to k plus 1 to prove that and once it is shown that it is also right then we can declare that by mathematical induction this entire uh, you know this equation is true for all the values of n got it okay now let's prove the second one uh, a into b power n is equal to a power n into b power n this is what we have to prove again we shall prove it using induction the same rules 
So first we shall assume that it is true and for smaller values of n and then we shall take n equal to k and then prove it for k plus 1 also, right? So let us see what happens if n equal to 1 for smaller values of n. For n equal to 1, it so happens that a into b power 1 equal to a power 1 into b power 1, right? Which is true, a into b equal to a into b, right? So it holds true for smaller values of n. Now, in order to prove it for induction, I'll assume that it is true for n equal to k. Let us say it is true for n equal to k. Then what does it mean? It means that a into b power k is equal to a power k into b power k. Then I'll investigate what happens if n equal to k plus 1, right? If n equal to k plus 1, what happens here is a b power k plus 1. That is what LHS is, right? Now I'm going to write the LHS a b power k plus 1 like this a b power k into a b right i can i can write like this because a b power k plus 1 can be written as a b power k into a b right and now uh, i can i can write it as we already know that um, a b power k is equal to a power k into b power k isn't it therefore because we assumed it right we assumed that a b power k equal to a power k into b power k right so I'm going to write it as a power k into b power k into a b, right? And now, uh, so we know that here I can combine these two, b power k into a, right? I can combine these two and we have already seen that here b power k into a is equal to a into b power k that we have already proven it, right? So from the first, uh, this first one. I'm going to use this result there, right? So which means b power k into a is equal to a into b power k. So I can write it like this. a into b power k into b, right? Then what do we get? a power k plus 1 into b power k plus 1. Therefore, a b power k plus 1 is equal to a power k plus 1 into b power k plus 1 which means if we assume that it is true for n equal to k then it is turning out to be true for even n equal to k plus 1 right therefore by mathematical induction we can say that you know uh, this is uh, this this second rule is also true which means this this statement is true by mathematical induction so by mathematical induction we have shown that these two statements are true got it okay